Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Gold Rush. Today we are hoping to get our bulldozer. That is the plan anyway. Um, whether that's actually going to come to fruition or not remains to be seen. So we have 92 ounces of gold at the moment and so I see no reason why we won't get our bulldozer unless something goes horribly horribly wrong. Um, we get the bulldozer back to the claim and then we can try making a cutting and um, be able to sort of travel backwards and forwards a bit on the claim. I think it's going to be quite interesting to see if we can do that. And then we're getting various ideas that people have had for different things you'd like me to try. Um, so we sort of reached the point where, as I've said many times, we're running out of content, which is why I'm now only doing three episodes a week for this. Are those wheels sinking into the ground a little bit? I think they are. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, I'm doing three episodes a week for this, and for those of you who have not yet uh, realised, we are playing Gold Rush on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and then we're doing Stardew Valley on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So let me just go in here now, and... Ooh, e to use. Smelt our gold. So what have we got? Um, 900, so it's going to cost us nearly $1,000 to smelt, and we're going to lose 8 ounces. So we're going to end up with an 84-ounce bar of gold. So let's smelt that gold, and yep, yeah, 84 almost exactly. So 84 ounces is not bad. I still want to see a 999-ounce bar of gold. That is the one thing that I would very much like to see, um, and we will hopefully be able to do that at some point. I just don't know when that is going to be. We still have to get a 300-ounce bar of gold and put it somewhere. We... Uh, I did originally say I would chuck it in a river somewhere, but uh, quite a few people have now said they like the idea of me leaving it in the tent and using it as a coffee, um, a, as a, um, a, a coffee mat, a, a, um, was it? Coaster, a coaster, that's what's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, quite a few people have said they'd like to see me, um, just using a 300 ounce bar of gold as a coaster. Uh, it'd be pretty good, so maybe we'll just do that with it instead, I'm not quite sure yet, I haven't made up my mind. Um, right, so we own those, our loan is 28 left and we are on 150,000 to go. Stock is down at $1,230 per ounce, which is not too bad considering we've got 84 ounces. That's over $100,000 for that one. So we've got $156,000. So we could get that. And what's the other parcel? We've got Rivertown there. This one here is 91,000. So we could buy this claim and we could get the other. I'm not going to though. I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do, though, is I'm thinking that maybe we could get a little bit more in the way of machinery so we could get more employees. Although, I mean, we got them on the hog pans at the moment. We're doing pretty good as far as money is concerned. I mean, look at the money. It's absolutely pouring in. I'm thinking that we want to start, think, um, you know, saving up some cash. If we could save a little bit of cash, if they would, you know, what I was saying last time about um, bringing in uh, super machines. Now, uh, I'm not actually, I'm because the um, I'm having to record this one a little bit earlier than usual because I'm planning on doing a major upgrade to my PC fairly soon. Um, I'm having to get ahead so that I can sort of plan for all of that. We've got a whole load of extra thing. I think this is another um, wash plant and shaker and everything. So this is all stuff still to come. Hopefully that will be revealed at some point. Um, we've got more stuff. I'm guessing this is like another trommel, a bigger trommel. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that we end up getting a super big uh, wash plant, wash setup. And like this, um, like I was saying before, a absolutely massive excavator. I mean, we've got this one here. A lot of people are reckoning it is around 50 tonnes. Um, so yeah, 40 to 50 tonnes, maybe slightly more. I want to see a three, 400 tonne excavator. I want to see the big stuff. I mean, the proper big boys toys. That's what I want to see on here, or big girls toys, whichever you want to look at them. Um... 54,000 for a bulldozer, so we're going to buy that one, we're just going to buy the one, add that, and we're going to take that one and send it back to old Arnold. So yeah, I'm thinking that rather than spending more money on other things, we won't. We will just go with this, we will order that one, and we will save our money so that when new stuff comes out, we're able to buy it straight away and we don't have to spend ages waiting for, you know, to to earn the cash in order to be able to do it. So we'll do that one, and we can confirm that has now been moved. We've got $100,000 left, and we I mean, we still got loads of gold being done. So we've got gold pouring in due to our workforce, and we've also got um, the, the gold that we're going to be earning through the claim. So we're going to keep doing a load of digging. Digging is going to be quite uh, frequent. We're going to do... I will 
try to do at least one load per day, at least one dump truck full into the wash plant. I would prefer to do two, maybe even three, but we will try to do at least one load per day into the wash plant so that we can at least start accumulating some stuff. And and it doesn't look, now that they've sort of balanced it out again, it doesn't look like the buckets underneath the duplex jig are going to fill up as fast as they were. Um, I mean, that was just like a, a one-off. So it's a little bit of a shame that we can't go back to that. That would be, it'd be really good if you could like alter settings on this. So for purposes of single player, um, that would be really good. Or for like a 10 hour live stream, that would also be really good. You just have it like it is now. Um, but for a let's play like this, it would actually be better if we could have like a high percentage of gold because I'm literally not going to have time to be able to dig through everything on it. I've seen pictures today of people having nearly emptied out the old Arnold claim completely. Dug out every single little bit of dirt that's available here. It's absolutely fantastic the work that they've done. Um, oh, that was another thing we need to do. We need to get the fuel bowser over to the excavator so that we can top it right up. So we will do that in a minute. We're not going to do it yet though. What we're going to do first is come out of here and we'll switch off. There we go. We can do the bulldozer. Um, yeah, and the claim's nearly empty. And they've put in a lot of hours, mine. They're, they're, they're hundreds of days into the, the whole proceedings. And it's looking very, very impressive. I am very impressed with what they have done. Um, right, so we have a very old-looking bulldozer. I've never driven a bulldozer. So I feel that my life is somehow lacking because I've never actually driven a bulldozer. I've driven all kinds of machinery, everything that you can think of, but I've never actually driven a bulldozer just realized this and now I suddenly feel that I'm my life is incomplete I need to I need to address this this is definitely something that I need to address right in order to move that one up and down is that RF again yes that is RF so I think that's as low as it can go now advice that I have been given as far as this is concerned is essentially find a flat point on your claim put it to the lowest point leave it there and then work um, do not alter the level of the blade once you start working so okay I can live with that that seems like to be that seems some Fairly solid knowledge. Uh, what's the back one? Do? Oh, I'll tell you what. If we press Z a minute, we can see our control. So we've got um, rip up and down is T and G. So we put that one down. And this, as far as I know, it doesn't do anything at the moment, this ripper. But it will do something later on. You will need to use this to break through permafrost when you are... Just zoom in a little bit. See if we can hear it. Machinery is very, very quiet. Some of it seems like really, really quiet. And then I go and stand next to the wash plant over there when that is all running, and it's absolutely deafening. You can't hear yourself think. It's kind of, it does seem like the machinery is a little bit imbalanced. But anyway, it's also quite fast, this thing. I do like that. It's nice and speedy. Um, so yes, the ripper is apparently for when it's winter and you want to dig and you've got to dig through permafrost, you use the ripper, and that will enable you to dig through permafrost. Which is really, really cool. I like that idea. Let me just back up here a second. We've got a little bit of a rough patch there. So I think this is a good point to start doing our digging. We put it, uh, I reckon if we go right there. So let me lower that one down. Okay, lowered right down does seem to be very, very low. I'm not sure I want to go that far. Let's, let's try it here and see what that does. Okay, that doesn't touch the floor at all. What it does do is cause issues over there. Now, um, let me lower it down a bit more maybe. That mo that's moved a little bit. So does it push the dirt around? Now, some people are telling me that it doesn't actually push the dirt around. What it does is it makes the dirt completely vanish. So I, that seems odd to me, that they would make the pay dirt just vanish. It, it seems to be leveling it, to be fair. All right, so let's, um, let's, let's try turning around this way. It's, no, it's pushing it forward. It's definitely pushing it forward. It's not leveling it out. It's just pushing it forward. So if I can bring it over to here, I'm going to try. There we go. It's, it's just kind of shoving it forward. And it's getting further and further forward as we go. And then that is the end of the little road. We, oh, this is fantastic. We're building a proper road. I'm, I'm like bulldozing and making a proper road. Let me, let me um, pull the, the, the camera out to the side a little bit like that. And we'll try this one again. I'm going to do, do that move again. That was, that was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. So we'll spin on the spot. It's probably not the best thing for the tracks, to be fair. But look at this. It's actually pushing it right the way across. And it's pushing out it at a new, at a new height where it's not finished. 
There. This is awesome. Look at that. I love this thing. I love this thing already. This is way better than that. Okay, we are definitely keeping the bulldozer and using the bulldozer. And then that um, wheel loader over there, that is definitely going to be the one that we throw in the hole. That one is the one that's going in the hole, and this is the one that we are keeping. So, when we come back here, have I got this set to the right height? If I come back and I keep doing this multiple times off of the same spot, is it going to keep trying to... No, it's not actually. It's when I move to the side, it kind of bulges out a little bit. So I've got a stack here. I'm wondering if I could take... Actually, I think I've gone a little bit too high. I think I want to go just a little bit lower. Because what I'd like is a straight road that goes all the way across to the top. Although it's only going to go to where the edge of the claim is. Which makes me think that I've actually set my sights a little bit too high to start with. So let's get some illumination going on here. Okay, that's as high as we can go for illumination. If I can just turn that way. And spin around like that. And we'll start pushing it this way as well. So we've got a little bit of a hump right there. That's going to start pushing it back. And then we're actually lowering ourselves down right here. But I'm going to lift I'm going to lift the blade up now. What's the lowest point? I think that was actually the lowest point. I think if I've got this right, the lowest point when you're using the bulldozer blade gives you a dead level surface to work on. So I'm going to bring this one around again. We'll just test this one last time here on the actual surface, this piece here that we've now done. And I will lower that blade down as low as it can go. And we'll see if that... No, right. So lowering the blade down as low as you go, that will give you a flat surface. If we can start somewhere level, then that it will continue on in that kind of vein and we will end up with a decent level surface that we can drive over the only issue now is that we've got to step off the end of our road so we're gonna to have to come back to that so i think that our main task now is we've got to we've got to create the road we've we've done the the sort of the preliminary work for this we've at least made a test for it um what we need is we need to make a proper cutting all the way through so that we can have a road that goes through flat and level um, and that means we're gonna to need to come down a bit because i why well, want to have it over near there that is a horrible flickering. That is very, very horrible flickering that it's doing right now. Let me whiz this one down in here. Now, first of all, I want to level this piece off down here. I want to push all of that dirt out the way. Um, if I can if I can get to this bit, I think that's actually fairly level right there. So I'm going to lower that one right down. And this is going to be the first bit that we work from. So we can push that through. How much can we push through? I think I'm going to have to lift up a little bit. If I lift it like that and then come back through. And now I move forward and wait till it gets down onto the level area again and then lower the blade right down. Start pushing forward. And I think that is, I think that's the lowest point that I can get to right there. But unfortunately, because I'm sort of starting on a fairly uneven point, it's not going to do it that brilliantly. If I bring this one up a bit like that, maybe. Okay, so we, we can raise it and we can do it like this. So I'm going to repeatedly do this a few times. It's not going to let me do it repeatedly a few times, is it? No, no, no. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Don't don't get stuck. Oh dear. This isn't this isn't what's supposed to be happening. I'm not supposed to be getting I'm not supposed to be getting stuck. It's a bulldozer. We're supposed we're supposed to be bulldozing. We're supposed to be just just be able to shove everything out of the way without any worries whatsoever. Ah. Uh, I think we're going to have to do a combination of the two here. So what I'm going to do is I'll switch this engine off. And let's just lower that one down. Actually, I've got to switch the engine on to lower it down. Just to stop the horrible flickering, I'll lower it down a little bit. And then I'm going to switch sideways into this one. Excellent. And I'm quite glad it jumped straight to the pickup. That's really good. Then we will back up a little bit and we'll get this fuel bowser on so that we are in a place where we can get the excavator hooked on. Uh, now get the excavator fuel back up because the excavator is starting to run out of fuel. So we really need to get that one refueled. So let's jump back in here and I'm going to sort of adopt a policy of working until 6 p.m. and then at, when we reach 6 p.m. we will then skip the night. So at the moment we're on half past five so we're getting close to the um, to night time so we will be skipping the night soon just not quite yet. 
me come up here and come round there. And we can just try driving on this flat. Ooh. Ooh, that is smooth. That is smooth to the touch. That is fantastic. Our new road, ladies and gentlemen. Our new road. Ooh, now. Um, well, I'm, I'm going backwards. I'm, keep going backwards. Go backwards. I, pro I probably should put the diff lock on traveling out here. Um, but I'm stubborn like that. Now, if I can squeeze through here, I'm hoping that I can get the pickup up this bit here. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to put the um, diff lock on to come up through there. Go, 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 go forwards. No, don't go backwards. There we go. Now he's bit. He's biting now. Hopefully he's going to just... Yes, yes, go, go. It's like playing spin tires all over again. And there we go. Where is the fuel refill point on that excavator? That's the next thing we need to find out. So we want to jump up on here and you climb up onto, you get up onto the track and then you go up onto the man platform up here. I think it's actually in there. Uh, nope, that's the battery. Can we take that battery out? No, there's no option to do anything in there. So there's the battery. Uh, where's the fuel cover? That is the fuel filter there. No, that's the that's the oil filter. Um, how do I put the cover back down? Oh, there we go. Right. So where's the fuel thing? Switch. Ah, there. Right. So, can I reach there? If I bring that one over, can I reach it from this side, or have I got to swing the excavator around? I might be able to reach it from this side. I'm not quite sure yet. So I bring this one over, and I will put the. Fuel bales. Actually, I've got to swing that right round because the actual tap is on this side. Uh, or is it? Yes, the tap's on that side. It's only marginally, but it is on that side. So if I swing this one round, then I can do it that way. Don't go in that hole. Whatever you do, don't go in that hole. So I'll bring this one over here. And... Easy, does it? Okay, my driving is terrible today. It doesn't help that this thing does slide around like it's uh, driving on a, a greased hot plate. It, it's, um, it really doesn't help at all. So let me bring that in here, up that way, like that. Now stop. And just slowly, slowly back up. I want you to back up. Keep going slowly. Don't spin too much. And I've just caught the edge of the track with that one. I think I'm too far over. I'm not going to be able to get the proper turn. Oh, no, I might actually be able to do it there. It's, it's swinging back round to correct the turn. It's the more difficult bit. Okay, then we can stop there. And now I'm hoping that that will be close enough. If I can get up on here. Right, I want... Can I grab it? I can't get it from the top. <laughs> okay, let's get that one there. How much distance have we got? To be able to get all the way across. Okay, uh, I'm not going to be able to get that way. I'm going to have to go around here. And then up. Is it going to reach? Use. Excellent. It does reach. And refueling time is slow. It takes quite a while to refuel. So we're just going to stand around here and we're going to wait for this thing to refuel a minute. Okay, it takes a really long time to refuel. And it's a very thirsty beastie as well. Look at that. That was on like 85% when we started. It's now down to less than half. Um, under 40, it was down to 39. It's still going. It's still going. 36, 35, 35% that has dropped down to. That is a very, very thirsty beastie. So I'm just going to chuck the end of that down there a minute before I put this cap back on. There we go. And now I'm going to jump down here and hopefully find the end of the hose. Put it back on here. I would love in the shop to have spare ones of these so if you drive off with that one stuck into the machine or you drive off with it left on the ground it actually means that you then got to repair and replace it and i think that would be an absolutely brilliant little touch to add into the game really hope they do that that would be br that would just be so cool oh yeah we, we drove off and we ripped the um the hose off of the fuel bowser that would be, I, that, I don't know why, but that would please me immensely having that. It's just, it's only a tiny, tiny little detail. But that would be really, really awesome if they were to add that in. Right, we'll go and see if we can refuel this um, dump truck now, actually. See it as we're on a refueling mission at the moment. I think the dump truck one is right there near the front. By the look of it, he's stopped right there. I think that's it up there by the, the front of the engine, if I can get up there. Is that it? I don't know if that's it or not. There's there's a step over this side, so whether that is it's there, I'm pretty sure it's one of those up there. 
Let me try a long jump. I want to get up onto it. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Nope. Uh, if I can just do it like this. No, I can't do that either. There's got to be a way to get into this thing. Okay, maybe it's not up there. Let's have a look round the side and see if there's a fuel refoin, uh, refill point down here. Okay, I put, I was, I, I stood there and then I, I pressed backwards and it actually lifted me right up onto the platform. Yeah, this 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 game is um a little bit strange sometimes, isn't it? There's no denying that. There's oh, hang on, what's that? There's another point there. Maybe I can um leap up. To the f I just can't quite get high enough to get on. It's because of where it's parked on the slope. Um, can I get up there? I was up there just now. It actually worked. I, I actually got right up on there properly and everything. It was, it was all really good. It was We were making progress. And then I said, you know what, this is really weird. And then I wanted to show you how it was working. So let me try stepping in here and then stepping out again. And I'm hoping, yeah, there we go. That's how you do it. No, no, don't fall off the front. <laughs> Where's the, oh, hang on, what's that? Open. Oh, uh, no, 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 that's the battery. I'm sure it's one of these up here, but I can't quite reach high enough to get them. We try climbing out again, and we'll just see over here. If I can jump. Uh, it's definitely not one of those. Don't go too far, don't go too far. There, at last, I've done it. I've got it, it's right there. And I'm on the wrong side, aren't I? I'm not. I'm, I'm going to have to drive right round anyway to be able to get onto that side. So let's try that a minute. Back up here. And I'll try and get to the opposite side without crashing. Going to be the next difficult thing. Nope, it's not letting me back round and turn. So we'll do we'll do a complete circuit. If I can get over that bit. Yes, I can. There isn't... The, the turn circle on this thing sometimes seems to leave a little bit to be desired. Right, stop right there. If you can, without sliding into that hole. I really hope you can. I don't want to... I, I don't mind fishing the dumper, not the dumper, I don't mind fishing the wheel loader out of the hole, but I really don't want to have to fish this one out of the hole, because I quite like this one, I use it a lot. Um, now, can, oh, I can reach it from up here, excellent. Okay, that's uh, a little bit crazy there, but at least it's refueling. It is, it's doing its job, even if it's um, seeming to struggle whilst it does it. We're going to have to go back into town and get some more fuel, that's going to be our next major task, I would say. We're already on the six ounces of gold. We smelted. We got 150 ounces of gold, and we're already back up to six. Those workers are really industrious chaps, aren't they? 10%, eight. Okay, this is dropping down rapidly, so let me grab that one back there, pick that one up, and put it back on there. Close that one. Can I reach it? There. Right, we close that one down. And now if I can just get a little bit closer, we can squeeze in here. I think we're good to go. I can race back up through this way, ripping off the um, marker sticks as we go. And I'm just going to park this one over here. I don't, I'm, I'm quite happy to leave that one just like that, and I'll leave it hitched on as well. And turn that one off, and turn that one off as well. Right. That's all good. I won't worry about refueling these things just yet. So it's a bulldozer that we're going to be mostly using. We're going to go and sleep the night. Now we're on 6.4 ounces of gold. And we have $100,800. So let me go to Dawn. And we are now 94,000 with 15 ounces of gold. So the gold is actually climbing quite rapidly. It's doing an excellent job. And the money is not falling down very drastically. So that the loan repayment is going out. And then the, the workers' wages are not... They're not hideous. We, we, we're not, not being sort of overwhelmed with workers' wages, but we do have some wages that we have to pay out. And I quite like that. It does seem to have achieved a bit of a better, better balance than what it had previously. So our next job is we're going to go into that excavator and we're going to pick up some of that huge, great big pile of dirt left behind by the bulldozer. And we're going to move it over sideways a little bit, just so that we can make it a little bit more room. And then we're going to use the bulldozer a bit more and hopefully clear a flat track all the way back. This one here does seem to be a little bit precarious at the moment, but I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad. Let me come out of cab seconds so we can sort of look around. So, yeah, you can see it's, it is right on the edge of the cutting right here. I don't really want to go back any further where the bucket is sort of swinging around and trying to reach. Um, I mean... 
I suppose really the only option now is to just start working backwards along the edge of that almost cliff face there. Whether that would work or not, I don't really know. Um, today, I'm not too concerned about that. We start this bad boy up, and I'm going to go with this view again. I quite like this view. I'm, I'm pretty sure, because somebody did say that we've actually had this view for a while. Uh, so, you know, you're saying that it's, it's a new one. I'm pretty sure that it was actually locked in position previously, whereas now the camera rotates. I mean, it's not like... Um, it, it does do it a little bit strangely, but yeah, the, the position that it was locked into was unpleasant to view. It, it didn't do very much good. I, I didn't like that at all, which is why it wasn't useful. But this is actually really good. This this particular, the way that it works on this one, um, it, it seems really useful. It's quite sort of intuitive about where it's um, pointing. And it makes the job a little bit easier. At least that's what I'm finding. So I can just dig some of that out. Oop, wrong way. So if I just want to scrape off the worst of it and just bring it back inside here. And then we can dig this out at a later date. Um, probably, well, actually we might try and dig some of it out next time. But all i got to do is just a little bit in there. Let's not do too much there. And... I'm going to try bringing that in a bit and then tip it out so that the dirt is sort of at the bottom of this little cutting that we're working on rather than too far away from me because it's actually more difficult to dig when it's further away from you than it is when it's right up close because of the way that it stops the excavator bucket from moving just the way that the dirt the just the way that the physics of the dirt actually works it um it makes it a little bit more difficult when it's further away from you let me put that down like that and then Bring that in. I'm certain that this point right here is generating dirt out of nothing. I'm absolutely certain of that at the moment. Right. I'll just stop right there. I'm just going to leave that one just hanging exactly as it is. I'll leave the lights on, but I will turn the engine off, save a bit of fuel, and we'll jump back into our dozer. Now, is this going to work? So we start this one up again. I'll bring that. Now, I think that is a fairly level point that we can start with. So if I go there and I lower that one right down as low as it will go and take the handbrake off and then just push. Yes, excellent. That's now working quite nicely. So we've, we've moved enough soil from here that we can kind of start to build ourselves a little bit of a cutting. Um, and I just bring that back around a little bit. The, the blade is down right as low as it will go. I don't want to go too far off of here at the moment. I kind of want to just... Um, slowly work out from this point. There we go. Push that forward a bit more. So this is a nice level point here that we'll be able to sit our dump truck on. That's the plan. So if I can bring that over a little bit. We, we're building up a little bit more of a, a, a hump there. That will push that over. And stop there. I don't want to go too far. I don't want to like dig down a hole. I want to try and stay on this nice flat piece now and I want this to just like start expanding out from here a little bit as well I can push that in a little bit further so let me stop there now this is the next bit that I want to do I want to be able to turn round if I can without like levering up onto anything if I can spin on the spot so that I'm staying on this same level back it a little bit there we go and push that forward just a bit I just want to widen it just a little bit, if I can, as much as much as possible. There, I think that's about as wide as we're going to get on there. And I want to do the same, just sort of bring it round this way a little bit and just try that a little bit more over there as well. Yep, that seems to work. And then I've got that hump over there. If I can push that quite away from me, that I'd be very pleased with. I think that's about as far as I can go. You can't push masses of it by the look of it, but you can push... A little bit so are we losing I don't think we're losing any soil I don't think we're losing any material here on this particular one but it's not that easy to see if we if we are or we're not it doesn't look like we are it looks like it's just kind of pushing it in a, you know in, in a direction it just looks like it's kind of pushing it along I'm gonna swing that one round a bit okay if we can push it this way yes excellent Okay, that's worked quite nicely, and that's made this whole level area just a little bit bigger. If I can just go to the side of that and push again. There we go. 
I'm re this is so we got a lovely nice flat area I just want to now next bit of this is I actually want to go this way I want to bring it over there I'm gonna back up just a bit more because it's still it's still dead flat here this is this is what we're working on we, we, we need it to stay dead flat and now I can push forward and I'm hoping that this is gonna kind of level it we got this sort of bit of a monstrosity going on over here where everything has become uneven where we try to use the excavator to level it off and that didn't work out very well physics of the game didn't sort of lend themselves very well to us using the excavator in order to scrape it back level but this bad boy here is doing a magnificent job of it and it's leveled that piece right the way across excellent proper flat all the way through let me come back a little bit more and then i'm going to rotate around there and do this i'd like to try to make this whole area as flat as possible i'm going to keep pushing this until we can push it no further it's probably as far as we can go right there i don't think we want to sort of risk doing this anymore because we're going to end up with like a bit of a lip and i don't want to end i don't want to end up with that i don't want that at all i think that um having it just like this is going to work quite nicely because then the dump truck can come in there's enough room in there i'm hoping for the dump truck to be able to turn around and then it's got that huge nice flat level area that it can work on and start sort of moving from that point now how do i get up here can i use a diff lock on this one i don't think you can you, you well you wouldn't expect to use a diff lock on something with tracks it would just kind of it just kind of tracks um okay so we're, we're getting a bit stuck here i've got the the blade lifted up as high as it can go and it's still not allowing me to go forward because it's trying to dozer at the same time so apparently this thing is good but you do kind of need to work it on fairly level surfaces so if i can can i reverse out nope i can't do that either I'm getting hopelessly stuck. I don't want to be hopelessly stuck. I want to be able to keep using this bad boy. Uh, let me bring it up this way a bit and then try just twisting so that I can go up here. Is this going to let me go? Is it going to let me go? No, it's just I'm sliding. I don't want to slide. Let me up, please. Okay. Right, so the bulldozer does an absolutely magnificent job of leveling an area, but it's not quite so good for mountaineering by the look of it. So let's lower that one down there, and I'm going to just use this to level and push a piece in through here. Whoa, 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 don't go too fast. It does actually look like it self-levels after a while. You, you can push it forward a bit. Now, this is where we've got to be really careful. We do not want to accidentally... Um, push ourselves off a cliff or anything but it does look like it self levels you look at the way that I've cut through there a sort of lifting up in the air but then when it's sort of trying to go down the hill it stops it after a certain amount of time and it does no no whoa that so nearly fell down into that hole that really did that was that was close um, yeah, it looks like it actually brings you to a, a level point. It self-levels the machine as it goes round. So we've got this point that we can get to. That is literally as far as it can go. It's not going to go up the hill. So it does not like hills at all. Not even gentle slopes. It's, it, yeah, big, big drawback with this one really major drawback with this one it does not like slopes and it's it's not allowing me to move very easily either it's trying to um level stuff that doesn't need leveling as i move now i can go sideways across this hill so at least it's got that going for it but it doesn't like climbing a hill at all it's genuinely struggling with that okay well, we've at least managed to get up here so we've got that in our favor and I can now just go along the top of it over this side. The next thing is how are we going to build our cutting all the way through? Do I bring the excavator up and try to dig a little bit through first? That's my timer going off to say that I've run out of time. Um, yeah, how am I going to do this bit? Because this is too high. I don't actually want it up at this point up here. I want to take it down... Um, a little bit lower than this but if you level it if you like lower it all the way down it won't dig down in a slope it, it just digs off level 
this here is, is now digging off level. And if I sort of tip over the front of this one, which is deliberately going to do now, and I start digging down, it's not actually gaining, it's not moving any dirt at all until I'm moving sideways. So it won't push downwards. And I guess actually that is a really good thing. It will push upwards though. I can do that, we have found. So that then I can keep pushing up. And then I can tilt it down as low as it can go. And it will go to a straight point. So that is actually dead. It's dead level now. And it's not going to change from being dead level. It will stay at that point. So I can push that all the way over here. And it will stay dead level until it reaches the very end of that. And that is... I mean, I love, I love the fact that it's doing this. Uh, I'm going to lift that one up a minute. So yeah, we've got we've got dead level, and then I can I can push it forwards as I go up the hill, and so I can so I can make the the slope as I go up the hill, but I can't do it when I'm moving down the hill, which is going to make a difference to how we do this. So I think we will come back to this in next week's episode. We're on 18 ounces of gold already. I mean, we can have a good play around with this bulldozer now, and we can really sort of see what it's capable of doing. But I'm thinking that we want to try and get it so that the dirt comes out roughly level with that stake there that's kind of that's going to be our point that we want to work to so if we're going to work to that point we want to start filling in some of this piece over here we've got a lot of dirt on the top of the hill that we're going to want to shift over and bring down here that's absolutely great that's fine i'm going to lower that one down as low as it will go there and you watch that's actually going to try that's going to come out level now it's not it doesn't like me pushing into it from there but if i go this way it's it's going to start trying to level it it's going to let me go no oh okay and we are stuck you know what i'm actually thinking that we will try to get this one out of here using chains in the next episode i reckon if we get it onto the dumper we could use a dumper to pull it out of this hole whether it's going to work or not, I don't really know, but we'll, we, we can soon find out. So let me just switch the engine off. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.